In 1992, the RV Beacon was extensively refurbished by the SNS Marine Repair in Bayou La Batterie, Alabama. Work was done on all sections of the ship, inside and out, including completely refinishing the bow section and bulkhead. The entire vessel from stem to stern was sandblasted and repainted. A special armor paint coating was added to the hull. Under the supervision of the Marax Nautical Engineering Team, improved mailboxes or blowers were fabricated and installed. This extensive renovation and refurbishment will contribute to improved salvage operations. In July, the RV Beacon made one of her most important discoveries of the 1992 season. While searching the debris trail left by the Maravilla stern section as it rolled and tumbled along, dropping spikes, ballast, and occasional bits of treasure, the Beacon team crossed the path of yet another, and apparently older, wreck. A section of deck was uncovered, yielding a wealth of artifacts dating from the reign of King Philip II, predating the Maravilla by as much as 100 years. A 10-foot, 1,500-pound bronze saker, or cannon, was an exciting find. The English cannon bears the Tudor Rose and the inscription, Enricus Octavius and was made by the famed artisans John and Robert Owen in 1543, chief bell and cannon founders for Henry VIII of England. It is postulated that this weapon from the English Navy of King Henry VIII was captured by the Spanish in a naval engagement. 195 ingots of tumbaga or guanine were found by the Marex diving team. Tumbaga is a mix of copper, silver, and gold, which was produced from melted Indian artifacts. The conquistadors, recognizing the value of this metal, required that the tax be paid and that each bar be stamped with the seal of Carlos I, the King of Spain at that time. Since the time frame of Carlos's reign was 1515 to 1556, this would indicate the strong possibility that this was still another wreck even older than the previous one. These Tumbaga ingots are the oldest known precious metal bars to be found in this hemisphere. Also, hundreds of silver coins minted during the reign of Philip II of Spain and sherds of porcelain from the Ming Dynasty in China were recovered, in addition to many other historically valuable artifacts, including these ivory elephant tusks. The Maravilla Treasure Auction at Christie's in London took place on May 28th. A Nova film crew was there and filmed a segment on the Christie's auction to be included in its documentary, Diving for Pirate Gold, that is to be aired on PBS on February 23rd, 1993. The sale was extremely well attended and well publicized by the press. As the auction began, the silver coins, gold bars, and artifacts were sold first. Then, tremendous excitement was generated when the jewelry came up for sale. 
The cross sold for 210,000 English pounds to an individual absentee bidder from Spain and exceeded the auction record for a piece of 17th century gold and emerald jewelry. We are pleased that many of the items sold have finally made their way back to the lands of their original destination. Despite the current downtrend in the worldwide market for collectibles, both Christie's and Marex International were pleased with the sale as we received an estimated 20 to 30% over anticipated revenue. An auction is planned for January 24, 1993 at the Trump Regency Hotel in Atlantic City, which we feel will expand our marketing avenues. Marex has recently completed a marketing agreement with Sea Treasures, a Florida-based telemarketing firm. Sea Treasures has agreed to purchase approximately 2,500 coins and plans an advertising budget of about $50,000. We are confident that this exposure will further establish our presence in this target market. Marex received extensive local television coverage in 1992, including a multi-part series entitled X Marks the Spot. This year, Marex held its first investor dive trip aboard the 125-foot Palm Princess, allowing investors to visit the beacon and observe the crew at work on location. In addition to treasure diving on the Maravilla site, the group was treated to a number of other interesting dive sites. All involved agreed that the trip was a stunning success. Marex International looks forward to ongoing exploration, research, and recovery in its target areas in the 1993 season, while working to generate new avenues of marketing for our artifacts. We will continue to employ the latest underwater salvage technology, as well as exploring new technologies as they become available in our quest for the motherload of the Maravilla. <laughs>